What's up y'all here with some Cyberpunk 2077 today which is the game I'm anticipating arguably more than anything else There just hasn't really been all that much news to talk about since the official gameplay reveal by CD Projekt Red But that doesn't mean I haven't been paying close attention to any news that comes out and keeping a watchful eye on it Because as I said I am very excited about this game So over the past couple weeks there's been some sort of news that's come out and I figured I'd make a short video about it The first being the actual size of the game and scope of it compared to The Witcher 3 an article over at PC Gamer detailed some comments between one of the devs and a fan over at Facebook and it was said that many of the tall buildings within Night City will be explorable and will house a lot of activities. Also you'll be able to explore multiple floors within some of those buildings. Compared to The Witcher 3, The Witcher 3 will look much flatter in comparison and its activities scattered. Here the world can be huge but it can be huge upwards or downwards and that is really good to hear. Like I'm so glad that they're actually doing stuff with the verticality in this game where they're not just making content that we can't fully explore. Like the more you do stuff that we can actually interact with, the more it's gonna feel like a fully realized world. So that's great. Now, but the next thing I wanna talk about though is the CEO of CD Projekt Red made some comments as far as the inspiration and the quality they want this game to be at. So without a doubt, quality is of paramount importance. We strive to publish games which are as refined as Red Dead 2 and recent Rockstar releases in general. With their rave reviews and excellent sales, what does that teach us? It teaches us that we need to publish extraordinary games and that's exactly what we're planning. Also, gamers it seems tend to focus more and more on hit releases. There's only so much time one can devote to video games and while the gaming community is growing, time cannot be stretched. So it pays to be among the best. That's how you get a nice fat slice of cake business wise and the same cannot be said for the lower leagues. In summary, we're rooting for Rockstar and for Red Dead 2 and we're happy to see that excellent games continue to sell well. What that says to me is that CD Projekt Red is swinging for the fences. They're not just trying to make a game of the year candidate, they're really going for something groundbreaking. And I mean, so far from what we've seen, it matches up. I think that's actually why they're taking their time with it as well, why they're being so patient with what they have, because they know what they have and they're confident with what they have. And as far as I'm concerned, they could take as much time as they want, because I really want this game to just be as good as it can be and live up to expectations, which are kind of high right now, but I think they can pull it off, just as long as they take the time with it and be patient. Uh, but as for me and the channel, with Cyberpunk 2077, uh, the more news that comes out, I'll be here as far as to, uh, to make video content about it. And I might actually dig into some of the uh, the details behind the cyberpunk world. Like you guys have been great. My actual live reaction to the gameplay trailer is some of the most uh, successful videos I've actually put out to this day. If you guys actually search on YouTube, I'm in like the top three or five search results just by putting in cyberpunk 2077 alone, which is crazy. So I appreciate that from you guys. And you've really been helpful as far as like, in the comment section. Let me know certain details about the world itself, about the trauma team, about what some stuff uh, means within the game. So I love all of that stuff. So I might dig more into uh, the details themselves. So give me ideas as far as the content that I can make for the game that I can dig into, more information to kind of just reveal and discuss. So that'd be pretty dope. Now, but as for this video, it is going to be it, folks. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel. There's always much more content on the way, and I'll see y'all later.